Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will guide you about how you can create text box using uh, HTML helper. Uh, first of all, let's create a model and uh, click here add in class and name it as student and hit enter. Uh, to save my time, I will uh, replace the code here like this okay uh, now uh, sorry like this now uh, what I will do I will add I have to add a notation class here I will add a controller add controller and simple name it as the this is the empty controller okay uh, click add name it as student empty okay so the name of the controller is student empty uh, now click here to create a view and uh, model is for uh, I will not choose any kind of model and uh, <coughs> click here to add so the view is created now here now what we will do we will add the model uh, by naming the project as boot strap Okay, uh, I can simply get the model reference from any of the view. Okay, no view is using the model reference. Okay. Oh, here is the model reference. Let's copy this and include here and we have to add the model name as student uh, when we add the model now the next thing is that we have to add the text box uh, for the particular uh, field so uh, we have added the model now here after the index we will say at html dot text box and uh, first uh, we have to pass the name of uh, text box which is uh, string like uh, I will say student name then uh, the value of string which is now and then uh, object attribute uh, whatever you want to add such as you can uh, add uh, uh, bootstrap like new uh, at class is equal form control and that's it okay now I will execute this here and it takes a time okay now student empty controller with the index action method is now executing and uh, going to show a text box for the particular field uh, for the field which is here and for student name okay for student name it's going to be shown okay it's not showing student name uh, because we have uh, named the student name as a variable single variable and here we given the 
uh, space so let's and refresh it to see what's happened okay so now uh, view the source so you will observe that uh, here okay so you will observe that the id is student name and the name of the field is student name with the value num and type text so it will automatically get that this is the type of uh, text and you have to use it like this okay uh, now what i am i will do i will add something here i will say please enter your name and now refresh the field and uh, you will see what's the value come across here and here okay so you can see that please enter your name and here is the entry name okay uh, we have also a uh, text box for helper method uh, which is the strongly type ex uh, extension method it generate a text input element uh, for the model property specify using lambda expression okay so here uh, in okay here uh, we have to uh, write the HTML box for and uh, M of M dot uh, student student name comma and add this value okay and uh, now we will refresh this both and see what's occur okay uh, another field is come across and uh, here we have the same uh, value okay same things happen with the both so uh, it's mean we don't have differences between text box 4 and text box uh, what will happen the text box 4 is strongly typed and text box is uh, loosely typed method uh, in HTML helper class I hope this video tutorial is informative for you if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more amazing video tutorial regarding ASP.NET application development take care bye bye